Lake Orion residents gathered in Children's Park to officially kick off the holiday season with a tree lighting ceremony in the gazebo. The Orion Area Chamber recognized community leaders and business owners during their annual Impact Awards at Pink Creek Country Club. The Holly Jolly Folly brought out the who's who of Lake Orion for a night of music, food, and fun at Golan Butte GMC. And the Orion Light at Christmas Parade made its way through the streets of downtown Lake Orion with Santa and Mrs. Claus bringing up the rear. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and more on this edition of ON TV News. The holiday season is officially here, which means Christmas music can be heard in the stores, colorful lights decorate houses, and children are making their wish list for Santa. Here in Lake Orion, the season officially kicked off with a fun event in the village. On the evening of Thursday, November 17th, the community gathered in Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion for the DDA's annual Sing and Stroll and Tree Lighting Ceremony. As visitors arrived at the park, they enjoyed hot cocoa and cookies, music and dance routines, and holiday stories courtesy of the Orion Township Public Library. Families were even able to take a horse-drawn carriage ride through the streets of downtown. Then at around 6 p.m., Santa and Mrs. Claus joined Business Person of the Year, Wayne Haney of Haney Farm Bureau to throw the switch to light up the Christmas tree to officially kick off the holiday season. Eight, five, four, four three, three, two, two. It's, abs it's absolutely winter um, <laughs> right now. It's very cold, um, but it's been very festive tonight. We've got festival warming hub, fire pits going on, with people roasting the marshmallows. We've got hot cocoa up at um, the Pepsi Hut. They're giving away free Rockstar drinks. Um, we've got Girl Scouts giving away cookies. It's a very giving atmosphere. Uh, we had the high school come in, the, both the dance team and the choir came in, and they performed for everybody. We had the Broadway dance group come in. We had um, the Diamond Gemmed cheer team. It was so nice to see all of those performances. It was such a community give back tonight. The annual event has become a tradition that Lake Orion families look forward to every year. And thanks to sponsors and volunteers, a little Christmas magic is able to take place in the heart of the village. It takes a lot to make a production like this happen. Um, our, our premier sponsor, Meyer, we want to thank them again um, and thank all of the volunteers who have come in to help. Um, and Cookies and Cream is in here today. They've, they've got the cocoa um, bar going and um, the Girl Scout troops, I mean, Boy Scout troops, we've got everybody here. It's really nice. With the holiday season underway, the Lake Orion DDA reminds you to support local retailers and take advantage of incentives that encourage you to shop local. Well, you absolutely should shop local if you can. Um, if you want unique gifts that you can't find on anywhere else, then you need to come downtown and see what everyone has. And we have a passport contest going on, and we've done this in the past. You guys may have heard of it before, our hometown holidays passport contest. This year we've simplified it. It's going to be a business card, and you just keep your receipts. You bring them in either to the Orion um, Arts Center during their holiday market, or you bring it to the DDA office, and we'll tally up your receipts, and we'll give you your prizes right away. Um, you're eligible to win $50 of downtown uh, gift, uh, gift certificates. And then also we have a limited edition um, ornament that has been created by Broadway Embroidery. While that was going on in Children's Park, visitors were able to take a short walk over to the Orion Art Center where they could find unique gifts for friends and family. On Thursday, November 17th, the Art Center kicked off its annual holiday market. A call went out to local artists in mid-October and more than 30 were selected to set up their goods in the Art Center. Not only do the artists benefit from the sales, but the holiday market acts as a fundraiser for the Art Center as well, while offering shoppers unique gift ideas. 
Well, this is definitely the place. Um, I, each artist has a different feel to their work and a different style. Um, you have everything from hand-painted cards. We also have pottery. We have a lot of woodworking um, items. There's um, even um, the porch pots out there, live greenery. So there's something for everyone. And we have different point places. Everything goes from $5 all the way up to 200 for our nicer, finer items. Over the years, the holiday market has been set up in different locations throughout Lake Orion, but a return to the Art Center for the 2022 Christmas season. It took a small army to get the Art Center ready for shoppers. During the pandemic, we actually had a lot of work done to the Art Center to um, fix the structure, and we got rid of a couple walls, so it just opened up the space, and we wanted to welcome everyone back here for the um, holiday market. It's been here most of the years, um, so we thought it would be a good tradition to bring it back and just light the house up. Um, it was a lot of volunteer hours, um, a lot of the artists that submitted work helped put it together and um, our board has been a great help. Um, a lot of depending on our neighbors got it all pulled together with the Christmas lights and new signage and painting the outside so it's been a few months of getting ready for this. The holiday market is open to shoppers on Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. through Thursday, December 22nd. For more information, visit orionartcenter.org. Just a few weeks later, members of the community put on their Christmas ties and festive dresses as they came together once again for one of the biggest parties of the year. On the evening of Friday, December 2nd, the Who's Who of Lake Orion gathered at Gollum Butte GMC for the annual Holly Jolly Folly. Those in attendance enjoyed a buffet dinner courtesy of Italia Gardens. Christmas music was provided by Rock and Ronnie and the Lake Orion High School Choir. Ticket sales and a silent auction helped raise money for the Orion Lighted Christmas Parade. We work on this continuously, getting different things together, silent auction prizes and such. And then the committee works on the parade. They do a fantastic job. It's a tireless job, but it's also one that um, we all love to do. And I don't think any of us would not do it. You know what, it's fun. It, you know, the bottom line is it's fun and it's really fun to do things in our community, for our community, and uh, this is really what it's all about, right? It, it becomes grassroots stuff, the community comes together, and um, it's, it's really great. And you know, we've been through a couple, couple tough years, and, and this, is, this is a celebration coming out of some of that stuff. I can't thank John Cooper and Gollings enough. They are not only the presenting sponsor of the parade, they also pay for everything here. Um, so it's a, it's a great event. I know John Cooper loves to do it, and we love having it here, and the family here at Gollings. I mean, we couldn't have done it without them. I mean, we had our oil change kids, our mechanics, uh, guys in the body shop. We're all here today setting up, tearing down, cleaning up. Uh, can't have enough help from the Italian Gardens. They're doing a great job. So we love it, and we love doing it here at Gollings. Um, so as my Golling cap is, as far as I know, we're going to be doing this for a while. Merry Christmas! <laughs> 24 hours later, residents lined the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the start of the Orion Lighted Parade. Participants assembled at Blanchstone's Elementary School and made their way onto Flint Street at 6 p.m. The police department's 1941 police car led the way as the parade turned onto Anderson Street, Front Street, then north on Broadway, right through the heart of downtown. 70 registered entries included local businesses and community organizations, as well as marching bands and dance groups. Plus, 40 to 50 costume characters passed by the main stage where Gowling Butte GMC's John Cooper and Rockin' Ronnie provided the commentary. And of course, Santa and Mrs. Claus were at the rear of the parade to officially usher in the holiday season. I think it means the kickoff. I think it means the kickoff to the holiday season. It's a couple hours where you can go there, stand there, hopefully you don't freeze, but you, you, your mind's away from what's going on in the world. I mean, we had tragedy last year and we did the parade um, and we thought that it helped a lot. And we believe that a lot of people look forward to the parade to start their holiday season. Oh, you're very kind. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you, Santa. Thanks for coming back to Lake Orion. We love you. The parade came to an end at the Eamon Center and Santa and Mrs. Claus made their way over to Village Hall on Church Street where they posed for photos and listened to the children's Christmas wishes. 
With the year winding down, members of the Orient Area Chamber of Commerce got together to look back at 2022, recognize staff and board members, and honor business people and community leaders. ONTV's Joe Johnson was at the luncheon and had a chance to meet the Chamber's brand new president and CEO. On Thursday, December 1st, the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce hosted its annual Impact Awards at Paint Creek Country Club. Chamber members enjoyed a nice lunch while honoring its board members and ambassadors. The ceremony was the first major event for the Chamber's new president and CEO, Joyce Donaldson, a Shelby Township native who brings nearly two decades of experience to the position. She was with the Romeo Washington Township Chamber for seven years before spending 12 years in California. She returned to Michigan on November 1st and began her role with the Orient Chamber on November 7th. I love this event. It was my first major event um, here at the Orient Area Chamber, and it was great to be able to meet and greet uh, over 100 of our members, and of course to honor all those people that went above and beyond. Our chamber members are so extraordinary, and it's just this golden opportunity today to be able to honor them, and it's with my great pleasure and gratitude that I'm able to um, host an event like this for the Orient Area Chamber. In 2009, the Chamber awarded its first Business Person of the Year recognition to John Cooper of Golling Buick GMC. The award ceremony has since expanded to recognize community leaders in five different categories. Receiving the 2022 Youth Impact Award was Jennifer Erickson of the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. I'm beyond excited and appreciative to have been nominated and selected for this year's Youth Impact Award. For myself, the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, and the Lake Orion Community Schools, this award is a wonderful recognition of the impacts and positive relationships that school resource officers are making each and every day with students in our community. The school resource officer position has been the most challenging but the most rewarding position I've ever held. I strive to be a positive role model in each student's life, and I love that they feel comfortable coming to me for advice and sharing their problems with me. I'm passionate in bringing awareness and education to students on topics such as mental health, online safety, bullying, drug and alcohol abuse, and the numerous health risks associated with vaping. My mission is to provide a safe learning environment for all students. Receiving the Community Beautification Award was Lake Orion Sunrise Rotary, who installed a pollination garden on the Pollyann Trail back in August. One of Rotary's seven major focus areas is environmental protection. Over two years ago, one of our local Rotary giants, Barkley Pierce, had a vision for a pollination park. What came of Barkley's dreams and the work of our Rotarians along with financial support by our Home Depot, Rotary International, and our local region is an oasis of color along the Pollyann Trail. We cleaned up a section of the trail and planted the park not far from the Oregon Township Library. Today, it is laden with plants that attract bees, butterflies, and other pollinators to help grow our fruits, crops, and flowers. There's also a picnic table, a bench, and rain barrels there. This year, Rotary International has challenged all clubs to do something specifically to support pollination. What a happy moment of serendipity. Since the Lake Oregon Sunrise Rotary already had this project underway, several other clubs have latched onto it as a model. So this project not only created and now maintains a bit of local beauty in Oregon Township, but will have a far reaching and more long lasting impact, hopefully for years to come. The 2022 Economic Impact Award went to General Motors Orient Assembly. Back in January of 2022, GM announced it would invest $4 billion in the Orient Township facility. On behalf of the 1,200 men and women at Orient Assembly, I would like to thank the Chamber for this incredible honor. From our beginnings nearly 40 years ago, building large sedans to our current lineup of electric and autonomous cars, Orrin Assembly has been an important fixture in this community. When I arrived here a little more than a year ago, I witnessed firsthand the passion of team members that they have for this area. In fact, it's easy for a large facility to overwhelm a small town. 
but Orion Assembly really is just another neighborhood within Orion Township. Employees who live and work here show their pride every day, and it's that pride that I share as Orion Assembly embarks on its biggest initiative since the plan opened in 1983. In January, GM announced its largest single investment in a manufacturing facility in its history. We're just getting underway with the $4 billion expansion of the plant. In fact, if you drive by the plant, you can see some of the site work that's taking place for the future paint, body, and battery facilities. We'll nearly double the size of the plant and triple the employment once the plant is running on three shifts. And the reason for this growth is we will be GM's high volume producer of the Chevrolet Silverado EV and the GMC Sierra EV. These two vehicles mark a continuation of Oregon Assembly's critical role in helping GM attain EV dominance, not just here at home, but internationally as well. The 2022 Entrepreneur of the Year Award went to Rachel West, owner of Molly Therapeutic in Oxford. When I got the news that I had the honor of being recognized as this year's Entrepreneur of the Year, I was completely shocked and blown away. I'm so thankful for this honor and chance to be here with you all. It's been my passion and privilege to serve this community and all of my clients for the last few years. For those of you who don't know me, I started Molly Therapeutic just about two years ago and I opened my doors for the first time in Waterford. I really enjoyed my time there, but being away from the Lake Orion Oxford area, my goal was always just to work close to home. And just over a year ago, I was presented with an opportunity to move my business here, and I couldn't be happier with accepting that opportunity. From the minute I opened the new location, the Lake Orion and Oxford communities have welcomed me with open arms. I felt so much support from all of you, and I've made a lot of incredible friendships along the way. I'd like to thank the Lake Orion and Oxford Chambers. You guys have been so supportive, and you've helped me make many con new connections and friendships. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my sister and brother-in-law, and all of my great friends for mentoring me and helping me navigate the first few years, few years of being a business owner. They've done so much to help this business, and I appreciate them more than they'll ever know. And named 2022's Business Person of the Year was Jimmy Johnson of Graphic Takeover. The award was sponsored by Golling Buick GMC. My immediate reaction was, Wow, that's, that's amazing because I never would have thought I'd be nominated for something like this, uh, an award like this. Um, and we, just, we just work hard every day and, and try to make as many people happy, put a smile on their faces one way or another. <laughs> I'm sincerely grateful for this honor being chosen as Business Person of the Year. Thank you to the Chamber staff from Leadership to Ambassadors and all the businesses that make up such an important organization. I met so many amazing people along my Chamber journey. Thanks to the GT team for all your support and passion for the brands that we support and grow. And a special thank you and a huge sorry to my family and friends that had to put up with my crazy thoughts and ideas growing Graphic Takeover. To take advantage of all the perks that membership offers, including networking opportunities and community events, visit orionareachamber.com. From Paint Creek Country Club, I'm Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Thanks, Joe. And finally, when the holidays arrive, thoughts turn to the Orion area families who might be struggling to make ends meet. One local business owner is doing what he can to help keep families warm during tough times. On Friday, November 18th, representatives of the Knights of Columbus arrived at Northern Wholesale Flooring to donate two dozen new coats to Operation Warm. Headed up by Matt Pfeiffer of Northern Wholesale Flooring, the coat drive is relying on a new partner to help keep Lake Orion families in need warm this winter. So it's changed a little bit this year and, and we are feeling uh, this year feels very different than the last couple and I think the economy has a lot to do with it. Um, but uh, we had originally started partnering uh, doing this with uh, First Emanuel Church and some volunteers that work out of that church in Oxford and they had asked uh, for me to try and uh, get them bulked up on, on uh, items and uh, so we started doing it with them. And uh, last year was our biggest year ever. I mean, thousands and thousands. You were here. I mean, it was uh, crazy um, how many uh, coats, hats, uh, gloves, you know, all of it came in. 
And uh, but this year, uh, first of all, the uh, we've been at it for a couple of weeks, and we've been seeing less and less come in. Um, and you know, I, I also uh, work in a couple of other uh, efforts to take care of folks that are uh, struggling. And uh, we're finding the demand going up, and the um, the access to things to give away going down. So, but originally it started with them. This year we have partnered with Woodside uh, Bible Church and um, and the pantry. So uh, I work with them with uh, you know giving out groceries every Monday. We've been doing that for a little over two years now. And uh, we found that when we had excess materials over the last few years, we, we would uh, utilize our what we're doing there and uh, we couldn't get enough stuff in the pantry for our, our guests that come to get groceries. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are going to uh, utilize that source this year. Uh, First Emanuel is just a little bit overwhelmed and a little short on volunteers. And so we're gonna work with Woodside, um, but they're gonna be open to anybody. So anybody that needs warm clothes and uh, is you know struggling or just whatever, they need warm clothes, they come and if we have something that uh, will work for them, they are gonna be welcome to it. Uh, so last year, um, Matt and myself, uh, through the food pantry that we uh, operate with Canterbury Village at Woodside, um, Matt and I have partnered on a lot of different things. Last year, uh, he had a bunch of coats that were left over to give out, and so we offered to help with that um, through Woodside. And this year, I told him we wanted to have a, a little bigger hand in that, and just to get coats and warm things out to the community. Um, so just seeing a need and want to help. The Knights of Columbus meet and operate out of the Christ the Redeemer Church on Walden Road. The main duty of every night is charity and giving back to the community. Last year we did the same thing last year for, for Matt. Uh, we have a program in the Knights of Columbus called Kids Coats for Kids. And we buy them through our Supreme, our Supreme Council and we deliver them to charities locally. That's fantastic. Uh, where do these coats come from? They come out of a, a manufacturer, some company, our uh, Supreme Council, Knights of Columbus Supreme Council in New Haven are hooked up with, and they, we just send the order in through the KSC uh, website, and then they d deliver them to us here. If you have gently used hats, gloves, and coats in all sizes for all ages, you can drop them off at Northern Wholesale Flooring located at 118 Indian Wood Road near M24. You can also drop them off at Woodside Bible Church on the grounds of Canterbury Village. For more information, call 248-282-3992. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Happy holidays and thanks for watching.